We're gonna do uh, two rain barrels together. I usually keep one where the valley comes off this roof and I fill up a 55 gallon drum really fast in a light rain. So I'm gonna put two together with a uniseal. If you don't know what a uniseal is, it might change your life doing some of this. It's pretty easy to uh, install. Pretty foolproof, we buried them um, and had some in service for years, no issues whatsoever. This is a uniseal, two inches. You take a hole saw, you put a hole through your tank or barrel or cow tank, whatever you're using, it's got a bit of a flange on it here. Uh, you drill a three inch hole for this one. Uniseal has uh, lots of charts and, and on different websites that tell you what size hole, three quarter inch uh, pipe, inch pipe, inch and a half, two inch, three inch, whatever you're gonna do. good bevel on the edge of the pipe so that it'll start through your uniseal. If you don't bevel the end and try and feed it through the uniseal, it is infuriatingly impossible might be the better way to say that. And because these are food grade containers and um, maybe used for chicken water or different things, we're going to lubricate the edges with olive oil and force them through. side and try it. It's like it's a new machine. Yeah. Okay, so the idea is this one will fill off the roof. When it gets full, it'll fill the next one and the Fern Co fitting in the middle makes them easy to take apart. So the next thing to do is to get a couple goldfish to put in there. Yeah. Keep the bugs out, right? Uniseals work pretty good. The first barrel filled up, filled up the second barrel. What do we put goldfish in the rain barrels for? I don't know. They eat more bugs. They, bugs. they eat, keep all the bugs out, right? So they'll eat the glass worms? Yeah. We're also going to expand this because we've been using quite a bit of water for um, water and chickens and different things and cleaning up down here. So we're going to put one more water barrel in this series and we're going to put in one that has a uh, hose uh, connection to it in the valve. I think we can catch... Uh, that one's filled. You have to really focus and look. Are you going? Yeah. Can you see? So it's right, right there. You see it moving around? It's a little spazzing. Right wormy. there. That's mosquito larva. It's called a glass worm. Yeah. And that's what the 
that's what the goldfish will just go crazy for. Occasionally you get that uniseal that just kicks your butt. This was the one. Um, we had to put some cribbing in with a bucket underneath to bear down on that pipe um, and push as hard. I had to put all my body weight on it, which was kind of hard on the hands and a little irritating. Um, lots of olive oil or whatever lubrication you're using, soap or something uh, that isn't going to harm your garden or anything. And then uh, brace that and push bevel it really well on the pipe and push and kind of twist and roll it around in there until it pops through. It seems to me like I've gotten two or three of these in my lifetime that you just want to give up on, but uh, with a little persistence you'll get them. Okay, let's go ahead and... Yeah, so what did we do before we let them go? Uh, we acclimated them to the water. Yeah, we floated them and stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, one other thought on the rain barrels. We we added another one because we're going through quite a bit of water, which is fine, um, because we're using it for the garden and the chickens and for washing up and different things. Um, do you know why we piped these together with two inch pipes and uniseals? Um, so that it could contain the water better and so it can be gravity fed? Yeah, it's gravity fed and the uniseals are easy to do, they don't leak, but why two inch pipe? To let the fish through. Yeah, because it's big enough that the fish can move from tank to tank when, the, when it's full, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's clean up.